NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg called on Ukraine's allies to continue to provide all the military support he needed in his war against Russia's aggression against Russia's aggression and warned that they should be prepared for a long-term war. We should continue to give Ukrainians the weapons they need to stay strong today. So they may be strong on negotiation table tomorrow. Stoltenberg met with Olaf Scholz in Berlin, said. These contributions help Ukraine to defend the freedom and help to keep Europe safe. He said. However, in an interview with the German news agency DPA, Stoltenberg said it would take a long time for Ukraine and its allies to achieve their goals. Stoltenberg. We must be ready for long term. Wars cannot be foreseen due to the nature of the wars. What we know is that those on negotiation table are inseparable with the situation in battlefield, said. Ukraine, with help military supplies from its allies, has launched a counterbook in spring to regain lost zone since beginning of inconvenience Russia in February last year. However, opposite since he progressed slower than expected. And among the Western allies of Kiev, especially in United States Ukraine's main military and financial aid provider, war fatigue revealed concerns. NATO chief DPA, given the time to prepare Russia, said the fight would be very difficult. He continued we knew that Russia has prepared for months with mines, tank trenches, many defense positions. However, Ukrainian troops, despite the difficulties faced in battlefield, earned earnings and liberated more regions. He said. Meanwhile, on November 10, British government announced that 30,000 Ukrainian troops had completed training in England seven weeks before program, which he said was largest British military training effort since World War II. Ukraine Air Force spokesman Yuri Inat in Kiev. November 10. F-16 fighter plane Ukrainian pilots plan according to plan. And some pilots already education in Sky added. At the end of last month, the U.S. Air Force announced that a series of Ukrainian pilots have started training to fly forward. F-16 fighter plane in Arizona state. At beginning November 10, Ukrainian Ministry Defense's main intelligence directorate confirmed that forces their forces had damaged two Russian landing boats in occupied Crimea in a strike at beginning November 10. Intelligence official Andriy Yusev, RFERLYERFERLYE. Two Ukraine publication Romadsky Romadskan and reports of the reports, Yusev. Two descent art was damaged. He said. Monitoring the European Commission suggested the opening of EU participation negotiations with Ukraine. And after meeting the final conditions, he proposed opening talks with Moldova. Media reports said that strike occurred in Chornomorsky in the westernmost part of Crimea and targeted two Russian high-speed landing boats. The Russian Ministry Defense said that he had captured and destroyed on territory of Tula. Region I.